this. I'm, oh, shit. I shouldn't squeeze things in my thighs and try to open them. Just shotgun that. And, and I probably shouldn't shake things up for the camera and then try. Hey, what? I was gonna taste it. Oh, but you just did. No, I just tasted the foam. Cause I shook it all up before the taste test. Are you ready for the chase now? Take it out, don't let it slow. prior to my leg day to increase uh, the blood flow to the legs for my leg training. So that's gonna add a little bit of time to my leg days, which, whew, man oh man, not really looking forward to that. But I'm gonna get it done. So come along for Blue Hand Day. guys my leg warm up now in my off season training which is going to be the modified wind gate approach wind gates are typically done on a bike in more of a controlled environment um, setting a lot of times i recommend my clients to use spin bikes um, again it can be done on a spin bike as well i'm going to show you the treadmill version what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase incline up to somewhere between 12 and 15 percent incline and then I'm going to actually stop the treadmill so I can powerfully move the belt myself. And I'm going to do that for 25 seconds. And before the treadmill will reset, you from 30 seconds to a minute, depending on the style of the treadmill and uh, type of brand name. So um, then I'm going to do a two minute recovery. I basically come to a complete crawl. I'm hardly walking for a full two minutes. And then I'm going to go right back into my sprints, turn the treadmill off make sure the incline's high and move the belt angling with my feet. Um, I have a set to do uh, four of these prior to my leg training and as I mentioned prior to, this is going to generate a lot of blood flow in my legs prior to leg training. So. my channel for a while you know that the barbell hip thrust is not one of my favorite exercises for glute training however I have been following and doing some research on Brett Contreras and I do see that this is the cornerstone of glute building so I'm adding this to the beginning of my workout and with me fully committing to the bikini division I understand that this is going to be the cornerstone of my stage presentation so during my off season I'm going to focus my improvement on my conditioning of my lower half mainly because I know the conditioning in my upper half will come in once I do lean down so I'm just prioritizing my training at this point. So 
So the next straight set is going to be the single leg leg press. I do have my foot placed a bit higher on the platform to activate the hamstrings just a little bit more. And keep in mind that the most important part of this movement is actually when your knee fully is touching your chest and from that point you push through the movement, that's when you're activating the glutes the most. to make my last set of the single leg leg presses a negative set. So I have not sped this clip up so you can see how I'm actually making a brief pause at the bottom of the movement when the glute is fully stretched and then pressing through that extension. And as with most negatives, at the same exact weight I had used previously, I decided to drop the rep range down just a little bit so I could have some left in the tank for the remaining workout. So I absolutely love the ISO leg curl. Um, I am not that great at it. I try to keep my low back as stable as possible, but as you can see, it moves just a little bit of tilt in that pelvis, unfortunately. I'm still working within uh, a 25 pound plate on each side. I feel that I do lose a little bit of connectivity at the top of the movement, but to get the movement started, I do have to move my low back a little bit. So again, it's not perfect, but I'm still working at it. So here you're going to see a non-sped up clip showcasing the negative component of this movement. So what I'm doing is a quick contraction to the top of the glute and then a slow three count release. Now we're getting into the superset component of my leg training day and I chose to do two cable movements. The cable RDL here and what you'll see next is the cable pull through. With these movements the intention is on the heel but as well as the midfoot. When I place some intention on the midfoot I feel like I'm able to bring my adductors into the equation a little bit more as well as my hamstrings and glutes.
just got done with the leg workout. I hope you guys enjoyed the Wingate sprints and getting to know what I'm doing there. And enjoyed the leg workout. Well, we went grocery shopping to pick up stuff for chili tonight and I found this. Um, yeah, so I don't know if any of you guys have ever had this. This will be the first time I've had this. I'm trying to cut back on my monster habit. Uh, um, but this one, it doesn't say it has any artificial sweeteners in the ingredients, which I don't quite trust. But I love things that are like citrus, so I'm excited about the grapefruit. It is a little bit less caffeine than the monster with organic caffeine at only 160 milligrams and the serving size is actually one whole can which on monster it is actually two servings in one can so you got to pay attention to that extra caffeine and add it times two but so i'm going to taste this see how it is Ooh, a live taste test live taste test i can't really get it oh shit i shouldn't squeeze things in my thighs and try to open them And, and I probably shouldn't shake things up for the camera and then try. Hey, what? I was going to taste it. Oh, but you just did. No. I just tasted the foam. Because I shook it all up before the taste test. Definitely no sweeteners in it. Like, at all. It's literally just sparkling flavored water with, I guess, caffeine. It's like slightly grapefruit taste. I mean, I guess I would rather, I would almost rather just have a plain LaCroix, like, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good, is it? It's all right. It's all right. So, fail on the highball sparkling energy. No flavor. No flavors. No flavors. <laughs> As he goes, well. <laughs> Ew. Ew. So, I mean, I guess if you just want energy flavored sparkling water, this is great. It's cold. It's cold. That's a plus. <laughs> but it's really not um, that worth it. Obviously, this is not a sponsored post or sponsored yeah. video. So, we just got home and I'm going to make us some chili in the crock pot so we can enjoy dinner on our patio. Oh my God. Oh, animal house, animal house. We can enjoy dinner on our patio tonight after we go to happy hour. So it's literally gonna be cooking in the crock pot while we're gone enjoying some glasses of vino. But so I've already chopped up the sweet potatoes and now you're gonna see everything else that literally just goes into the pot. What are you doing, Boot? <laughs> what is he doing? And done. So typically I strain them and rinse the beans when I get them canned versus when I make them fresh. Make the beans fresh? Now in a large skillet, I am going to brown the ground beef. And my little sous chef over here is dicing up the onions and jalapenos and these are gonna brown in the skillet with the beef. I used half of the packet 
it in the skillet, but I'm gonna use the remaining part of the packet into the chili crock pot. And one cup of water is going in with it. What are you doing, her dog? It's like, I would eat the chili. I would eat the chili. Chili, chili, chili. Chili is all ready to go. I will put in the description box below literally all the ingredients to this particular sweet potato chili recipe in case you guys want to do it for your family or for yourself. It makes a ton. You can freeze it. You can eat off of it for a couple of days. The cool thing my husband's gonna do is he's gonna make like a chili sausage dog. Oh, I hate sausage. Oh, but that's what he wanted to do. And he's probably gonna put it on those delicious Hawaiian rolls. And I'm just gonna have a bowl of chili with some avocado on it. So we are going to get ready and enjoy a happy hour on this beautiful day outside. And we will have you come along for that with us. We are about to go to happy hour and Sun's out, quads out. One more time, it's like 80 degrees here, so I'm gonna wear some cut off jean shorts and some boots, some ankle booties, cause half of me is in fall. And I just have a new choker that I got and this cute little drapey top with like a cutout back and this like mesh crop top underneath just to give it some layers. And so we's gonna go to drink some vino. And here she wishes he could come, but no wine for dogs. No wine for dogs. Every time you come around, my body's been falling. Ooh, what's a feeling? Every time it comes around, we feel your body falling. So that's my husband singing in the background. He has no idea I'm vlogging. But this is my new rocks box for the month of October. La oh, I think I'm gonna like these. Yes. I hope these are the earrings cause they look dope. Oh my gosh. Yeah, love these. And a new wrap bracelet maybe? Oh yeah. This is actually the same brand of uh, another wrap bracelet I have if it'll focus. It is by Nakamo, Nakamo, Nakamo maybe? But yes, it is another gorgeous piece. I love all the colors, brown and gold. Oh, yeah, this might be, this looks like a piece of like charcoal crystal. He's still singing, he has no idea. Oh yeah, Let me get it to focus. That is a killer bar necklace is gorgeous love so yeah glad you guys got to enjoy this fun i know i talk about rocks box all the time but i'm like literally obsessed with accessories can you tell love them oh yeah these are for sure a keeper they hang perfectly oh my gosh 
love them. Yeah, I'm putting them in for the rest of the evening while we chill in our house. <laughs> love. They're so stinking gorgeous. I think I actually like them with the choker. Yeah? Yeah, we like them, we like. So it's like 8.30 and we're about to have our chili on the patio. It has been cooking now since about 4 o'clock and the sweet potatoes should be nice and soft at this point. That's basically all I was waiting for. Almost everything is, you know, cooked. It's just a matter of getting the sweet potatoes soft. So we are going to enjoy our warm bowl of chili out on our patio. My husband has some serious loud music on um, out there and he has no idea I'm probably finishing up the vlog clips. But I just wanted to say thank you for coming along for our Friday and enjoying our glute ham day and this chili keep in mind i am putting all the ingredients in the description box below remember it's really not portioned out i just throw it all in the crock pot and let it cook for like four hours so, so here i am on the my fitness pal recipe importer and i have my sweet potato chili added into it so this does make 13 cups of chili and here are the ingredients again it will be in the description box below as well but i do track this into my fitness pal for my day like i need to with the majority of my food um and with recipes i just dump the cans in um so our recipe is gonna be exactly to the correct macros that are listed here probably not but again, I'm not in contest prep, so I do have a little bit more freedom and flexibility. And I can just kind of get creative with my food choices, get creative with how I'm cooking, and not be so strict in this situation. And super easy. Again, another one of these great um, meals for me to prep with my husband that he loves, and he's gonna end up putting it on like a chili dog. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you want to stay uh, up to date on all my videos for this audacious athlete series and comment below if you try any of the glute workout or decide to make the chili for you and anybody else who wants to eat chili with you or if you just want to make a big bowl of crock pot of chili for yourself and yeah so thanks for watching bye bye are you ready for the chase now? Take it out, don't let it slide